What up everybody, AKB Friar. So we got day six is hi, hello. We are now entering the second half of the year of day six where every sixth of the month or close to the sixth of the month, we're getting a new day six song. And it's kind of sad knowing that now we're on the decline in terms of number of songs left, not quality, of course. Okay, back of a red pickup truck. I'm pretty sure I had an old toy car that looked like that actually. There he is. You were you, I was I. We've been living without knowing each other. I like the color, like the filter on this. Oh, that's how they met. That's how they met. With a rather low voice. This is one of those relaxing summer songs. And he's just like, nah, man. Oh wait, did he, does he actually stop? There you go. Here's the thing, it's saying you were you and I was I. It doesn't have to be a romantic thing. It could just be a group. <laughs> yeah, he's probably like, oh, I'm pretty sure if he threw the guitar actually like that, he probably just nailed him right in the face. Sad, dude. <laughs> They know how to make their visuals match exactly the feel of the song, too. It has that rustic looking filter on it. Like they're in the middle of somewhere in America, like farm country in America. Are they actually in America? The license plate did say Kansas. The perfect, in my opinion, setting for a song style like this. It's like, where are they going? Doesn't matter. It's about the adventure. He's wasting all the water, though. <laughs> I wonder if that wasn't supposed to be the way it was supposed to turn out, and they're like, no, we're gonna use that take. <laughs> and they're just fooling around. Just having a, a bro drive sesh. Hey, hey you. You have a guitar? You wanna ride? See, it's like they already picked up a few hitchhikers. And they're like, let's pick up another. And he's like, nah, man. And they're like, come on. And he's like, boy, that looks like fun. Even looking at each other is beyond me. <laughs> Get in. Oh, they drove past him. The car broke down. And then he finally caught up. It's like this, the intro of Final Fantasy 15. Except with five people instead of four. He's a mechanic. What? Join him! <laughs> He's like, wait, wait. Oh! Did you I just saw in his guitar case he has the Iron Man and Captain America shield. Very relatable. That's a really sweet song. It's just so sweet. And it's like they know, they're so diverse. Like I'm not one in the slow, so it's so diverse. I'm not one in the slow songs at all, but they know how to film it correctly. And even the lyrics, they're so simple. You were whoever you were before we met and I was whoever I was before we met. And when we meet, we're now a group. We're gonna do whatever we're doing together, be it a relationship or in this case, and how I'm taking it is day six as themselves. Wherever they were before, maybe trainees, they were following their own dreams, and then when they were put together, they're like, Oh, wait, we all can play instruments. All right, we're going to do the Day 6 style and be an awesome band. And that's what they did. They decided to film it in what looked like rural America, so that makes it even nicer, because the whole feel of the song is just so relaxing, farm country-esque. And they had the whole video just talking about one or two guys 
in a pickup truck, driving along, and then some hitchhikers wanted to go, and they just decided to invite them. And then they became a whole platoon of people. At the end, you had one more member who was like, I don't want to join you guys, I'm just going to wander and go my own path, until he passed them and he had to fix their car! Because he was a mechanic who knew what he was doing. The structure of this song was such that every part of it wasn't really supposed to stand out past the other. Super, super calming, very, very slow, and they had their chorus, which had like a bit of a falsetto going a little higher in the notes. It was able to emphasize everything without it going over the top or taking away or distracting you from the rest of the song or taking you away from the whole feeling of the song. And what I love is this is showing everybody getting on. It's sort of just showing life or one stage of life of meeting people. It really adds that, it really adds that next level of depth and like complexity to the music where you can always go back to something like this because of how it's shot and find something new every single time. Like, you know, you do have those music videos where it's just like, for in, in this case for Day 6, where they're just playing in like their mystery magic music box, not really showing a story, but when you do have a story like with Hi Hello, it adds to, it's almost like you were playing a video game again or reading a book again for a second or third time, where you see different things each and every time that lead to help understand the bigger picture better. Day 6 does not make bad music. Like, they just don't make bad music. And I'm so surprised that they're working this hard. Like, one song a month for a year, filming in different locations. I'm not even sure if they're touring right now, because if they are, that's even more insane. Do they get sleep? How does Jay have the time to tweet? Day6 is just such a good group. Everything they have is just quality content, and I can't wait for August. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, and until next time, peace.